Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, my dear Shaykh brothers and sisters, on this Thursday morning in the Kemba Mosque at the LMA Islamic Funeral Service, subhanAllah. It's a beautiful, beautiful, quiet, somber day, but it's also a day full of blessings. We've just finished washing our young 20 year old brother, and subhanAllah, the story with this brother is only six weeks ago, wasn't it? About 45 days ago, his sister, 17 years old, was on this table being washed. And today, he just got washed. You know, my brothers and sisters, subhanAllah, the calamity, we do not know when it will strike. The father and the mother of these children lost two children under the age of 20 within six weeks. Allahu Akbar, brother and sisters, this is the true calamity. But the father will tell you, Alhamdulillah, all praise to the Almighty for this calamity. This test is a beautiful test. I lost two children, but I also gained from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ease of heart because they are back with Allah. I have my brother here, Hili, Hilal, who was the carer for Kamal, the 20 year old. And the reason we have a wheelchair here is Kamal was born, he couldn't walk. Allahu Akbar. And they were telling me that at home now the wheelchair is empty. And every time they see it, what happens? Well, we look at it, we're all heartbroken and shattered. Heartbroken and shattered every time we see that shit. Allahu Akbar. You know, you said to me one thing. What did Kamal say? You were best friends with him and you were his carer. Best friends. And you took him for a haircut on Thursday. That's why he looked, subhanAllah, he looked, he's, I said, he's got beautiful hair when I watched him. And Saturday he dies suddenly, unexpectedly. He said to you something when, what, what did he say to you, like, when after his sister's funeral? He was telling us, uh, if I die, inshallah, we want Brother Ahmed to wash him. And subhanAllah, you know, Allah Akbar. The deceased asked for me to wash him and he didn't know he's going to die. And I could have died before him. SubhanAllah, brothers and sisters, be keys for goodness in this earth. You showed me some photos of him. You had some TNs on and he couldn't wear shoes no. because of his disability. But you still put the TNs on him. And his face was, the smile on his face was, you know, Allah, we're going to cry. We're going to cry because these stories always make us cry. But one thing we are happy about, that he's at ease now. Alhamdulillah. You know, his dad was telling me just now he couldn't even move his head yeah. on the pillow. You know, Rosh says, SubhanAllah, I just say to everybody out there, say Alhamdulillah, this boy was born, he couldn't walk. We walk and we still complain. He has done nothing wrong in his life. He never blamed Allah for one second. He lived his life. You were with him every day. Tell me about his, tell me about him. Allah, who is the most popular person you ever met? The smile on his face will bring joy to everyone and he loved praying, praying, playing pranks on all of us. This is, this is a person who's disabled, who's got all these you know, problems, we call them problems and disabilities. And us, the healthy, the strong, that have everything, are complaining. SubhanAllah. This is a calamity, man. SubhanAllah. And he's always told me, whenever sometimes, he's, he was always in pain. Yeah. He would always say, Alhamdulillah. SubhanAllah. Alhamdulillah. Always Alhamdulillah. All praise to the Almighty. Brothers and sisters, make the heart for Brother Kamal. Inshallah, Rabbi, he's a Jannat al-Firdaus. Reunited with his sister, Kamal, who was tested with cancer. Had Allahu Akbar. I, I can't even explain what this family is going through. So if you think you have a problem out there, ponder today for a second and say, Alhamdulillah, my problem is not a problem. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.